a silent celebration after we have passed policy 8040 as amended. The Loudoun County Public School Board passes the policy on transgender rights. So starting this school year, staff will have to refer to students by the pronouns they identify with. This means that they have a chance to go back to school, feel safe, feel accepted and feel affirmed. They no longer have to worry about the bullying and the harassment. Two board members voted against it, though. Under the guise of inclusivity, we are taking action on a policy that's unnecessary, it's ambiguous, it's divisive, it's anti-family, anti-privacy, anti-teacher. We also tried to talk to some of the community members there who opposed the policy, but they declined. Now it passed with a couple amendments, like requiring all LCPS staff members to receive training on the new rules and modernizing student bathrooms to be more private and safe. I feel relieved. The approval didn't come without controversy, from a teacher being suspended to men being detained at a June meeting. Regardless of opinion, a new state law required the board to pass a transgender rights policy. State Senator Jennifer Boisco sponsored it. This has turned into some sort of a political football to try to frighten families. What we know is that when students are treated with kindness and respect, we are all better off. Even though it's a state law, some other Virginia school systems have rejected the policy. We have yet to see if any legal action will be taken against them. In Ashburn, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.